Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Barbala Pure Aero 98. Barbala's Pure Aero 98 is a great option for the player looking to take advantage of the spin and power of a modern player's racket, but with the control and feel needed to fully engage with one's target. For a clean and comfortable response, this racket features Barbala's NF Squared technology, which uses flax inserts at 3 and 9 o'clock in the hoop to soften the feel at impact. Compared to the standard Pure Aero, this racket has a more compact head along with a denser string pattern plus a thinner, more flexible beam to add additional control to every shot. I think if you've hit with the Pure Aero VS and you really enjoyed that racket, it's going to be a super easy transition into this Pure Aero 98. I like the VS a lot, but for some reason I just play way better tennis with the 98. The racket just feels a little bit more solid as Jay. Um, we'll allude to in his comments, it has got a softer, more comfortable feel and it just gave it a more solid and plush feel at impact for me and I just felt more connected with my targets, could really go after the ball and every time I had this racket in my hand I felt very, very confident, uh, loved it on serve, came through nice and quickly, it's great power, good spin, good control too, so I was getting my targets. Even when I was going big, I was still finding my targets on a consistent basis. Um, at net, uh, racket felt fast in my hands. I could punch volleys away, but then enough feel to help me hit my little angles and drop volleys that I like to play. And so it was a really nice all-core offering for me and definitely my favorite Pure Aero so far. The Pure Aero family of rackets is always one that I go to when I'm looking for the most power and the most spin. However, my game doesn't always need that. So the Pure Aero 98 is actually the perfect match for me because it has that added precision and control that my game needs. That 16 by 20 string pattern gave me tons of control and precision when hitting big. And I love the versatility of this racket. No matter who I was playing against or when I picked it up, I felt like I was playing really well. I got really dialed in with my shots. I love transitioning to the net to put points away with this one. I felt really in command of my volleys and I didn't feel like I was restricted at all in power on my first serves. It felt super powerful, but still super precise. So I was really trying to aim for targets um, in very particular ways when serving with this racket. Similar to what Chris mentioned, that Pure Arrow VS didn't really jive well with my game, but this Pure Arrow 98 felt super solid in hand and I had no issues whatsoever. It was a super fun racket and I'll continue to keep playing with it. This is an update to the Pure Arrow VS from a couple years ago, which we reviewed and I actually really liked, so I was very excited to uh, get on court with this racket. And once I did, I immediately noticed that, like with the VS, this one is fairly easy to use, easy to swing, I thought it had really good access to spin and I thought the control was excellent. Compared to the standard Pure Aero, this one is just slightly heavier, but it does make a difference. Uh, I thought this racket was more stable, it was nicer on the slices, and uh, I was able to get some nice depth with my uh, ground strokes with this racket. Um, it doesn't offer as much free power as the standard Pure Aero, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I prefer it uh, only because I would felt like I could swing out more with more confidence. Uh, take bigger cuts of the ball without much fear of it landing long. In terms of playability, this one plays nearly identical to the Pure Arrow VS. I think the biggest difference here is in the feel. This updated racket feels uh, just slightly softer and more comfortable. Um, so overall, I think this is a great racket. I love the previous one, I love this one. And I think if you're a big fan of the standard Pure Arrow but want just a little bit more control, then you're gonna love the Pure Arrow 98. We are now going to check in with our sister company, Tennis Warehouse Europe in Germany. Benji, how did the Pure Aero 98 work out for you guys? Thank you, Jason. I was really excited to try this new model from Babola because last summer I tried the version 100 and I was expecting more control just to avoid some mistakes. Even if the head size is smaller and the string pattern is 16 by 20, I still have a good potential of effect. I used to put a lot of spin to push back away my opponent and hit the ball at the top of the ribbon and enjoy the fully power potential of the racket. I also had the feeling that I can make a winner at every time during the rallies. It seems so easy to drive the point and the opponent defense thanks to the power brought by the racket. It's a very good weapon for serving. On the first serve, I can reach every spot easily with heavy hitting. On the second serve, I found my spot of choice with a lot of spin. On the return, I had similar sensation as the version 100, very stable and perfect to take the advantage from the first hit of the points. In overall, I would suggest this racket for advanced player who are looking for a good balance between control and power. From my perspective, this is a perfect improvement from the Babola Pure Aero VS 
for this new model because you have more control and you have more maneuverability. I was super excited to try another racket out of the Pure Aero line as the Pure Aero is my racket of choice. What I absolutely love about this racket is the amount of power and spin I can generate on my ground strokes. With the Pure Aero 98 in the smaller head size and tighter string pattern I felt like I had even more control on my ground strokes. At the same time I felt like I really had to hit the ball in the sweet spot, otherwise I felt a little bit of a vibration in my arm. I was a bit surprised as well that I felt the 5 gram of weight difference and it did make a little bit of a difference in terms of maneuverability. Overall I'm super excited and happy with this racket and I can absolutely recommend it to tournament players who are looking for a powerful spin racket but want to add a little bit of control to their game. As I said in a previous video about the Babala Pure Arrow family, I really like the design. Glossy and bright, it's really easy to recognize it on the court. About this racket, the Pure Arrow 98 offered me the option I didn't get from the Pure Arrow 2022, the control. With the smaller head size, it makes me feel way more precise and it's helped me to control the ball in an easier way. The stability is the key for this racket. Even from the baseline, I got the sensation that the Pure Arrow 98 gives me the stability in attack and defense positions. As you may know, volley are not my best game's weapons, but the Babola Pure Arrow 98 gave me the possibility to control the ball and I was way more confident coming to the net to finish the points. About my serve, the Pure Arrow 98 helps me to hit some flats and powerful first serve with control and precision. You can find better angle with security compared to the Pure Arrow 2022. About the return, my first word would be stability. If you hit the ball perfectly in the sweet spot, your return will allow you to enter the point with a great advantage. Overall, I can compare this racket with the Yonex E-Zone 98. Power, precision and spin. We strung up the Babola Pure Aero 98 with the Babola RPM Blast at 25 kilos. For any information about this racket or others, please check out Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only. Thanks for watching.